All right, so uh, I'm telling you, I can't say enough good things about this movie because it's <laughs> it's just it's so. What? Well, describe what it is to to the folks. Um, it's basically a girl comes into high school never having been to any type of school before. She's been homeschooled, and um, it's just difficult going into high school not knowing anyone and dealing with being accepted and that kind of thing. So she had to be yourself, and that's kind of how my character is. Well, and also because your your parents were living in Africa, yeah. and so you were sort of raised. That's why it keeps the it keeps yeah, going it back to. Yeah, it kind of refers back to what it was like in the jungle and how kids in school compared. Right. <laughs> Which is really clever, because it really is hilarious how... Uh, it keeps it fun and stuff. Yeah. So now, and what advice would you give uh, kids in school? Because it really is. It's hard. I think it's a really hard time for kids to... Uh, it is. It's so much... Like, my little sister's 10, and just, like, the things she goes through with being nice to people, and they're like, no, don't talk to her. I don't like the way she dresses. But you just kind of have to be yourself, and don't try to change who you are to be accepted, because obviously someone will like you for you, and that's the only reason that you should have good friends anyways, because they're your friend and they don't care how you really you know what I mean right that's Except hard to you are. It's, it's hard to believe that when you're you think that high school is gonna last forever and you yeah. have to fit in with that crowd and... there's just too much drama just like laugh it off yeah <laughs> yeah all by so yourself in a corner just laugh <laughs> from Mean Girls, which uh, I, I can't say enough uh, about it. Mean Girls is, it's not like, if I don't know how they're advertising it, what they, it looks like, but it's not a teen movie. It's not just for, but although, if I were a mother and had a, a, a teenage girl, I would make her see this movie because <laughs> it's, it's fun, it's smart, it has a message, it has a really oh, good you. message, and it's hilarious. It's for adults. I was crying laughing. Oh, thank it you. Was, it was so good. Now, where'd you get the idea for Mean Girls? Well, Mean Girls is based actually on this book called Queen Bees and Wannabes, which is a serious, like, nonfiction book of how to help your daughter through the treacherous middle school years. But when I read it, I actually thought it was kind of funny because it's, it's all about how the, girls mess with each other and all so the So the book is not things. funny? The book is kind of serious, yeah. Uh -huh. Um, but all the anecdotes of like the things girls really do to each other yeah. is really, I thought, kind of funny. Like a girl will call up another girl. Like if I'm mad at you, I would call your mom and be like, oh, hi, is Ellen there? This is uh, Susan from Plant Parenthood. I have her test results. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would never do that to your mom. No. Though. Yeah. You would never do that to me, though. Not to you. No. Maybe to yeah. Sharon Stone. Yeah. And I don't think my mother would fall for it. No. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's, it's really good. And it just makes you realize how vicious teenagers can be in high school. Because yeah. it, there's just some, uh, but just all the characters. And the little girl who's left home alone watching videos and getting all the wrong information. And yeah. it's hysterical. Thank it's, you. It's really good. <laughs> it is. It's very, very funny. All right, so now you interviewed a ton of girls to, to do this? I did. I, I looked in the book. There's a bunch of interviews. And I, and I talked to a bunch of girls. And... Um, it's, uh, you know, I sort of, people say, like, you know, how is it different from, you know, when you were in high school and stuff? And I think the biggest difference is there are, there's, like, new body parts for girls now. Really? Because, like, when, <laughs> when we were in high school, like, your jeans, like, this part of your body right here, like, right from there to there, yeah. you yep. didn't show that. Yeah, you didn't show that. You didn't show, like, like you know how yeah. pink has that, like, super chiseled muscle? Uh -huh. That was not an issue. No. But their girls, like, the zipper on their jeans is, like, that long. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I used to wear, like, I thought I was, I would wear, like, a turtleneck with strawberries and, like, uh -huh. penny loafers, and I thought I was really rocking the house. <laughs> I'd wear, like, my mom's units. Uh-huh. Remember what? units? No, what's, what's units? They were, like, those, like, 80s, like, stretchy granimals that ladies used to wear. No. no. I... Oh, yes, units. Right, they were, like, know. A, like a, there was like, a store called units, yes, right? And you yes. could mix and match the yeah. different things. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Did you bring me a gift? Because I like you now a lot. If you brought me a gift. Who doesn't like gifts? I, I, get, uh, I don't know. Sometimes I don't like gifts. Really? Yeah, because then it's like they watch you open it, and it's like, what if you don't like it? And you feel responsible for reacting in the way that you think that they want you to react. You're right. <laughs> don't give me that. I may not like it. Oh, just take it. <laughs> I understand what you're talking about, though. It is a lot of pressure. It is. Because you have to act like you like it. <gasps> Love it. What is it? <laughs> it's a hat. I made it. No, you didn't. I did. I no, made you it. Didn't I make swear this. I made it. Really? <laughs> yeah. I have to say, this movie that we just showed a clip for, I made 20 hats in like two weeks because I was just trying to finish everybody's rap gifts. 
This is really impressive. Thanks. This is uh, it's long. This is a, it's a big hat. It's not like a. You, it's very. Uh, it's not like a tiny little thing. This it's looks not. like it took time. <laughs> it it did. It's three hours maybe. Really? Yeah. Like, yeah and, but and, like you don't do it straight. Right. And 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 you knit a lot. I knit constantly. Mm -hmm. I think it's just a form of therapy. Really, I just have to admit it. But it's amazing. Your hair you're always busy, and you're making something for somebody. Like where I mean, do you do this? I do it. Um, I do it on the elliptical machine. While the you're working out, machine. while I'm working out, it's like I'm, I'm a very multi. I'm a, I need to multitask, uh -huh. and I feel like I'm getting you know my sweat on, and I'm also getting my knit on, and sometimes <laughs> I'll add a third element, which like is what? listening to books on tape. Wow, that is a lot at once. That's very yeah. impressive that you get the workout done. You, you're making now. If you do this all the time, you're giving these away all the time. Yeah, I mean, I have, a, I have a little bit of a collection, but yeah, they're usually for somebody. I have to think about who I'm making it for when I'm doing it. I am it. definitely going to wear this. I appreciate it. And and it's uh, it, and there's little glittery things. It's like there's some some more than just. Uh, it's this new yarn. It's alpaca, and it's got like sparkle to it. I've never seen a sparkly alpaca in my life. <laughs> Like in the wild, there's like sparkly alpacas out there. I mean, you never know. Yeah. I don't. I don't ask too many questions. Well, I, I am. Like That's to, why I have I a like show. I ask it. a lot of questions. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's true. Your parent, your family is here, right? Your parents are here. Dude, my and the audience. They're up there somewhere. They're right there. I think. Yeah. Hi. You, you, you are huge in Canada, which you probably. Have been told I, I like Canada very much, I'm, so I'm happy that people like me there because I like Canada very much. Oh, good. Yeah. So, <laughs> yes. So thank you for uh, for being here. Where, where are you from uh, in Canada? What part? Well, I was. Um, we're from a small, small town called St. Thomas, Ontario. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, were they were they supportive uh, of you being an actress early on? Actually, they did take me to meet an agent. Um, when I was in high school, I think. In St. Thomas, there's an agent there? <laughs> <laughs> or did you have to travel we far? We had to travel far and wide to uh -huh. Toronto, the big city. I see. Yeah, so. Um, and how'd that work out? Well, uh, it was one of those weird agency places where they ask you to, like, work out $800 for pictures. And on our way out, we heard this whooping down the hall, and we just sort of walked down the hall and poked our heads in. And there was, like, it was strip bingo. <laughs> At like two o'clock in the afternoon, mm -hmm. and I just saw this guy like on a table with chap, like buttless chaps, you know, like yelling bingo and lassoing someone, and 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 we we left, and my parents were like, um, I think we're gonna cancel the check, and I was like, it's fine, it's totally. Totally Fine. normal. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a role he's preparing for. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Buttless chaps. Yeah. Yeah. Playing bingo. Who, I mean, I don't even understand any of that. That's horrible. What a horrible experience. I'm so sorry for both of you.